Welcome back to the Weekly Interceptor for your weekly air and missile defense news update. On May 4th, 2021, an operational test fire against a high-speed aerial targets was conducted with a HISAR Alpha Plus, a short to medium-range air defense missile developed and designed by the Turkish company Aselsun. The test fire was performed at the auxiliary shooting range and launched from a tracked armored vehicle, the ACV-30. The HISAR is a family of short to medium-range surface-to-air missile systems. The HISAR Alpha is the short-range version of the HISAR family. The HISAR Alpha Plus is an upgraded version of the HISAR Alpha missile, which can now destroy aerial targets at a maximum range of 15 kilometers at a maximum altitude of 8 kilometers, with 3 kilometers more than the previous version. Japan's Ministry of Defense is planning a multi-hole as one of the proposed designs for the Aegis System equipped ship. The Aegis System equipped ship is designed to replace the Aegis Ashore, which saw its deployment canceled in 2020. Some believe one of the advantages of multi-holes is that they are less susceptible to the effects of waves, making it more suitable to launching missiles, while others question this claim. There are other reasons why multi-holes are being considered for the Aegis System equipped ship. The multi-hole has the advantage of a wider deck than the mono-hole, making it possible to mount large structures such as the Spy-7 radar. The radar contractor for the Aegis source is the Spy-7, a high performance and can be used both on land and sea. However, it is large in size and heavier, and in order to put it at sea, the so-called Aegis system equipped ship would have to be larger than existing JMSDF Aegis ships. If this is true, then the background behind the consideration of multi-hull for the Aegis system equipped ship may have to do with the components it will be equipped with. Congressman Michael San Nicholas testified on a wide range of issues to include supporting the establishment of Aegis Ashore Missile Defense System. Guam is the centerpiece of Indopaycom's specific deterrence initiative aimed at deterring threats from China. During the hearing, a Hawaiian representative questioned whether there was public support for Guam to get the system. St. Nicholas responded, Our community has had to deal with North Korea even just making empty threats, but still having psychosocial impacts not only in our community, but also in our tourist industry. And so having those assets on the ground here would of course protect our mission, our DoD investments, the military personnel, the Americans living on Guam, but it would also be very psychologically reassuring and it would be taken off the table the ability for a closing adversary like North Korea to be able to spew a few words and economically impact the American interests in terms of the economy here on Guam. So an absolutely, unequivocally yes, we would like Aegis to soar here and there's public support for it. The congressman is also seeking to secure Guam communication networks, establishing aircraft and air wing assets and capabilities in the Guam Air National Guard. Thank you for watching the Weekly Interceptor on YouTube. Join us next week for more missile defense news.